Watch that chain. Hard to believe this was once the Rolls Royce of fire engines. Beautiful and powerful. Yeah, we came back that way again on that rear end. The pride of the Kansas City Fire Department in 1927. They were rolling works of art that could shoot water to the top of a 40-story building, the legendary Aaron Fox. You have to do all the same things you do for an antique car, but on steroids. Everything's heavier, everything's bigger. These foxes are tough. Whoa, whoa. They're just monsters. Firemen are hard on equipment, you know. They like to drive fast. Red lights and siren, that's the reason we do this. municipality was extremely expensive. They were a showpiece. They were a source of pride for a community. They were parade vehicles. You know, they, they showed them more. It was the town's piece of equipment. Doug Klink and his crew at the Reliance Fire Museum have promised Kansas City they will have their treasure restored to look and run like new. And why not? They're all firefighters. We try and save everything that we can that's original, but sometimes it's just not worth it either because technologically what we have today is so much better and we are gonna drive this and pump this and, and make it work. We have to fabricate an electrical panel, wire the truck, We'll lift it up above the bar, and then we'll spin this way, and we'll drop the cylinders on once it's in, because this weighs approximately 3,000, 3,500 pounds when it's all put together. It's huge. It's immensely powerful. Whoa! It's going to be a tight squeeze. On this, a service brake, in other words, a foot brake, operates on the drive shaft through this drum. The hose trays have to go on. The ladder and hose brackets still have to be sandblasted and painted that he proposed to me on one of the fire trucks. <laughs> so I didn't exactly know what I was getting into. They cover it with gold leaf. They've got chrome all over it. I mean, it's just, it's a magnificent statement about the importance of a, a fire truck in the community. And then there's the running boards, the tailboard, the hose reel, the battery box. You know, there's a lot of stuff left to do. Yeah, that, well, that I, don't, is... I don't think I'm going to choke it anymore. Whoa! This is the hardest restoration we've ever done. No question.